So you're all probably here because you've seen the title and the thumbnail. And uh, yeah, just a quick shout out. This video's actually come to me from NCAL7 over on the Twitch stream live last night. So if you did miss out on the Twitch, obviously make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I definitely should add it here as a free on Twitch.tv. But yeah, NCAL7's basically shared a snow build that you can apparently solo the new sea monster the Jaws of uh, Retribution in in the snow. So in today's video, we're going to be activating the Jaws of Retribution. Now, I'm hoping it is on my bounty board here because I haven't actually checked. It's not. So, I have to wait for it to reset before I can show this to you. So, I can't actually activate it because it's not on either of the bounty boards. I just went to Telok. But what I do is I go and put the build together. And uh, after we put the build together, I'll just teleport to the area and hopefully see it there because a lot of people can't kill it yet. So, if I go, obviously, I'm on my managed ship now. I want to equip the weapons. Now, he did say put the darts over the whole ship. Now, I only have three sets of the darts, so I'm going to be putting them on both sides and the rear of the ship. And on the front, I was going to put something where I can cause quite a bit of damage in quite a short time. So, in this case, I'll quickly just stick on, I don't know, let's just say... Uh, I could put the long lines, I could put the Zamazamas, -zamas, but because it's only got two gun ports, it might be best just to quickly stick on the long lines. Or, actually, better yet, I'll put on, put on some fire bombards, because it then works the same as basically what's requested, minus one. Um, he did then say put on the Leopold um, for that extra damage for when it's coming up out of the water, which some of you pro probably might have discovered. And then, probably one of the most important things is the Rayful Ward armor. So, it's got the Venomous Vengeance. Now, because we're on the snow, we've got 25,000 brace in health. And with this armor, we can see that the perk is when your ship gets hit while bracing, a noxious cloud is released around your ship that deals 3,000 poison damage and depletes crew stamina, has a cooldown of 10 seconds. So every time it attacks you, it takes about 10 seconds, it's going to take that extra 3,000 damage, and then you're going to be hitting it with bombards as well. So, yeah, I did try and do this solo yesterday, and it didn't work too great, um, but I didn't try with this build. So this is going to be a first for you guys and me using this build, and apparently it's meant to work flawlessly. And then when you come over to the furniture, he said put on the water tank. Uh, and then after the water tank for the furniture slot 2, you want to put on bomb Bombard Works. Uh, then you want to put on Mortar Works. And then you want to put on the Mortar Powerhouse or Powder House. Um, and where you get this armor from, just in case you're wondering, it is simply something that you buy with Sovereigns. And you buy it over in the Black Market Vendor right here at Yanita Nara. So once you interact, you can go all the way down to the bottom of the Black Market when it lets me scroll. And this is also where you get the dards, or you can buy them on the marketplace. Discord is that links are down in the description below. But here's a Ray for Ward armor for 450 sovereigns. Um, so that's how you get that one. Now I'm gonna go and fast travel to the area. My interact's not working, so let me quickly interact with Yanita again, and then it should work. So if you do have the interaction bug, just go back in, back out, and then everything should be working as normal. If I go to my map now, it works. So that's one way of fixing. Obviously, if you interact and it happens when you're doing an investigation chat or anything like that, it unfortunately won't work again. But it does work for for the purposes of what you just seen there. Right. So we are now here in the location. I am going to set sail. Oh, most importantly, which I almost forgot. In order to make this work, you've got to make your ship look as scary as possible so in this case i just got this new armor so i am going all purple there we go i think our chance has been increased by double let's set sail and let's head over to the sea monster i didn't check to see if i had ammo on me i do so we're good right fingers crossed it's there and i still keep getting uh comments on how the hell do you get these sails well the sails is the premium pass color so if you go into your Start menu, you go down to the Smuggler's Pass, and you were to buy the Smuggler's Pass. Unfortunately, I've already bought it, so we go to Store, and we go to Smuggler's Pass. You can see here that the colour you got is the Nightfall's Herald. Now, the second tier of your sale becomes the purple, the glowing purple, and the first tier is obviously your black. But, if you go to the Currency Pack, which I don't have anymore because obviously I bought it, there's one here by between the Box of Gold and the Chest of Gold, which is a seasonal gold. And what it does, it gives you some golden sails. Now, that golden sail is actually the secondary color. And when you pair it up with the purple, that's how you get this glowing sail. And I think it looks really, really cool. Or you can pair it up with the, 
the Mang Odin's color as well, and it looks really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, that obviously covers that for you. And if you are wondering how I got the outfit that I'm wearing, I can't show you because we've got no third-person camera. Uh, that was, unfortunately, you can't get that as of right now. It was in um, the first st weekly story set. Um, but that story set's now long gone. Um, so when it does come back around, then it will be available. But that's how you get it because people are also asking that. So I thought I'd just quickly share it here in the video to make it a little bit easier for you. So I'm just going to head out to the area where it is. And if it is not here, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually server swap. And hopefully I should be able to find it. Um, but it could be here. Because as I do, like I did mention, a lot of people don't have it killed as of yet. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to still go over to the yellow beacon because I believe that is the middle of the area or close to the middle of the area as we were farming it last night as well. If you need help killing this because this build uh, obviously is still quite hard for you, then just go over to our Twitch when we're live streaming and we'll be able to help you kill the pest and the uh, Sammy Haribo because that's what we call her. Uh, it's Sammy Haribo. Uh, we've invented that name over on the Twitch. Right, it's not here, so I'm going to quickly just serve a hops in order to do this. Just quit to main menu. Quit out. Typically, you want to wait for 30 seconds when you're in the main menu. And when you jump back in, it should hopefully put you into a new server. If not, then you want to turn off your crossplay if you're on console to increase them chances of getting a new server. So, here I am. I'm going to sit here and I'll be back in a moment. Just a quick mention. There you can see, Countful Riches await you in the seasonal pack. That is the seasonal pack. Now, if I press X on it, or A on it, I can't see because obviously I've already got it, but that is what it looks like. So if you do want to get it, make sure you get that, and that's how you get the sales. You can see the gold. All I've done is switch that gold to purple, and that's why they look so flipping cool. You also get a cool emblem. I think it's really cool. And at least then you get some gold, so you can get some other bits if you want to. So a massive shout-out to the Death Squad. I couldn't find any of the sea monsters, so I put it in the Discord, which is linked in the description below. And Daniel Simmers, also known as SS Shadow Strike, has come in clutch saying he's got the contract and he's gone and accepted it for me so I can go ahead and kill this solo so you guys can see this video. So shout out to you. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, let's continue with this. And I'm going to leave the group. And now I'm going to set sail into the sea and try and kill this goddamn thing solo. Okay, so he spawned it. Brilliant. It's, let me just let him know. It's here, T-Y. Yes, so he's actually spawned it. He's come over to the area to have it spawn. Let's go. Right, so let me solo this bad boy. There's the sea monster. And let me show you this build and how strong it is in a solo versus it. Where is it hiding? Here it is. Uh-oh. We missed our first shot. And we got a rogue wave. Hopefully that rogue wave causes a little bit of damage to it. Okay, these waves are not helping me with actually attacking it. We're going to brace. Because he's going to come under. He's going to come up. Okay, he's backed off. We've hit it again. So these are the Dardanels. Or Dardaniels. And there we go. We've braced it. And we've managed to do quite a lot of damage. Now, if we hold the brace, we can heal up our brace as well. So that's what makes this so clutch. And one of them hits does not fully damage us he maybe he's going after that pirate ship maybe i've got to take out that pirate ship as well now he's going after that pirate ship that's perfect for me at least my brace can fully heal back up now i haven't got any advanced re repair kits on me so i would actually advise having advanced repair kit ones for this um but yeah i didn't come too prepared that was a clean hit and i don't know where he's gone he's probably going to come up from underneath Make sure I keep that food up so my stamina is regened. Where are you, sea creature? There you are. Brace. Bam. We've done some more damage by having this armor on. So let's quickly hold the brace again to build up that brace power ready for the next attack. But lucky the pirate ship's aggroed on it. We're now going to brace. It's probably going to hit us a little bit there. Yes, it is. But we're taking severe damage. So I'm actually going to have to use a repair kit there. We're going to hit it twice. We hold the brace down. 
Hopefully it goes for that pirate ship. It's not. It's coming for me. I managed to brace so I can hit it quickly. Let me try and hit it twice. Didn't manage to hit it twice. Let me try and brace this back up to good health. So in one sense, the Ouroboros could be good for this just for the sake of the severe damage. Brace. There we go. Managed to tank most of that. Let's restore this bracing power. We've got the floods. The severe is not good for us. Here he goes. He's coming up underneath. Food. Brace. Bam. There we go. More damage on him. I don't think it actually... It does say shot impact, but I don't see the actual impact happen. Make sure I keep that food consumed. Okay, he's going to come up underneath. Them second shots don't seem to be damaging as much as I'd like them to. Brace. Bosh, can we drop the mortar on him? We can't. Hmm. So he said the Leopold. What for what reason has he chosen the Leopold? Now, yeah, it's definitely easy using uh, the darts. We got a hit then. It might be more effective using a different weapon. Is that another clean hit? Let's get rid of that severe damage straight away. Managed to get a good clean hit. It's coming up. Got another hit there. Now, problem we've got here is this Sam is coming into the area, and with doing so, it's actually going to make this slightly harder. Let me brace. It's fine. We can repair that. Okay, we've almost got him down to half health with a breeze. Really nice and easy. Okay, we've got another person here. But you kind of get the gist here how good this build can be. Oh, it's a shame, guys. I am sorry that I don't get to display this uh, solo 1v1 in the sea creature. I did try, but obviously it helps out one person. I might as well quickly tell old Shadow Strike to get back in here to get the, the scales that he's probably looking for as well. Let me quickly just message him on Discord. Uh oh. That was me typing on Discord. Got me caught out. Let him know that someone else is here. So he might as well come over and kill it. Because he did obviously activate it for me. And he hasn't killed it. Where are you? That didn't hit. Neither did that one. Where? Oops, I actually hit him rather than the sea creature. Okay, that was a clean hit. Let 
Let's go in for the pirate ship. Lovely jubbly. Can see your glowing sails miles away is what you put over in the Discord. Where is it then? So it's actually gone close to shore. Oh, I missed it twice. Where are you going? Let me brace. Here he comes. More people here, so it is going to get slightly more difficult. It's going to hit slightly more damage. My sails are torn. But we've actually got a repairing ship, which is going to help out massively to get rid of that severe damage. Perfect. That's what we like to see. But we're going to have four of us here in a moment. Where have you gone? There you are. Clean. Now they're actually taking out the pirate ships, which is not a good idea because they are helping, but I might as well just finish it off. Take the free XP. Hopefully Daniel can get here in time. Brace. Nice. Lovely heels. Chills. No. Heal up, Sota. Come on, Daniel. Come over, bro. Is that a clean hit? No, I missed. Good hit then with the mortar itself. Brace. Now where are you? You're going down. Oh, you missed. Hit it with one of them. That is coming for me. It's got a mortar on me, so I might as well stay still and get that healing. Juicy. Brace it. We're going to hit it as it comes out of the water. Oh, we get a big 3k damage on it. So he's literally one shot from death. Wow. 
Wait. No way. Don't tell me I killed it underwater with that mortar. I might have just killed it underwater with that mortar. And now we can't get the loot. No way. That's hilarious. Well, guys, um, yeah, that's how you solo the Sammy Harry bow. Um, and make sure you don't kill it when it's under the water at the end. So, yeah, <laughs> without further ado, like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.